Today, let's hear a do- joke from Supandi. This is my own creation, mixed creation of Supandi. First, Supandi is in school. Supandi in the school. Supandi letter writing and the post office. So, Supandi is in class and the teacher is selling. Today, let's learn about letter writing. All the kids say, yes teacher. And Supandi says, sir I have a doubt. I know letter writing from nursery sir. See here. And he showed his book of the nursery written A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the teacher said, Oh, not that letter. It is um, the writing letter which we put and post in the post box. Understand? Yes, sir. But why do we need to write letters? We can just... We have... And he took out his mobile and said, He opened Facebook. We have Facebook. Email, WhatsApp. Why do we need letters? Oh! Now just learn. And no mobiles allowed in the class. Oh, sorry, sir. And the teacher told, You know how to letter write. You know how letter writing is, right? Yes, sir. All the students answered. And the bell ring. And the teacher said, Tomorrow, uh, write a letter. To whomever, whomever you want to talk, whomever you want to talk to, and bring it to me. This is your homework for tomorrow. Pandi said, er, "Sir, sir, I have a doubt." So Pandi, no doubts. Write the letter whoever you want to talk to. The next day, Supan. When the class started, uh, when the class started, the teacher asked, Supandi, have you finished your letter writing homework? Supandi said, Yes, teacher. Okay then, get the book, the teacher said. Supandi got the book and read aloud. And the teacher made him stop and said, Supandi, whom are you writing the letter to? You, sir. Why to me, the teacher asked. Because I wanted to talk to you, sir. Supandi said. Okay, then read it aloud. Supandi started reading it aloud. Dear teacher, I am Supandi. I wanted to ask you a question about letter writing. Can I write a letter to my cousin in Tinkle Town? Ah, Supandi, I told you to write a letter. Sir, this is a letter. You could have directly... You could have wrote the letter to, uh, to your cousin, right? Why didn't you ask me yesterday? The teacher asked. Sir, you told no doubts yesterday. And then why do you write the letter to me? You could have asked me today and done the homework today. But you said you should write the letter to whom I want to talk to. Ah, the teacher broke his head like this. Amma, mama, mama, mama. And now the teacher said, Supandi, go and sit down. Today, we are going to the post office to learn how to post a letter. So, everyone went to the post office. They were sent, everyone is standing standing, uh, outside the post office. Everyone should go, uh, uh, one, each of them, uh, one should go inside. First Supandi, then the other boy, then the other boy, they should go alone inside. Each one's alone inside. So, the teacher will know how much brainy they are and how do they do it alone. So, the Supandi stands now. He went inside and he saw something written as teller. And, no, first he, he saw something to the reception and he said, Congratulations, madam. Why congratulations? The madam, the reception lady asked. He said, Huh? Tomorrow is marriage and today is the reception. They are asking why I am telling congratulations. Oh, okay, leave it. And the reception lady said, Go to the teller there and 
and post your letter. He wanted to tell her and ask, Oh, are you a future teller? Okay, tell me my future. Oh, I'm not a future teller. Now go there and stamp the letter. And what is your address? And before that, I want to ask you, what is your address? What is what is address, ma'am? Uh, what did you say, ma'am? I can't hear you. Well, uh, the teller said, Oh, I I want your address. Oh my God! You are already wearing a dress. Why do you need a dress? If you want to buy it, don't take my dress. Go and shop it from a mall or something. Go and shop it from a shop. Go, go and buy it from a shop. Why do you want my dress? I'm looking beautiful, huh? Hey, stop it! Now go there and stamp the letter. Hmm, stamping the letter, Supanita. Go! The teller shouted. Okay, okay, I'll go, Supanita said. He went and there was a paper there. You can make an invitation with that. It was written, put your passport size photo. He took out his passport from his pocket and cut his, uh, cut his big photogra- photograph in the size of the passport. Paithiyamba, what? So mad. Supandi is a mad boy. Supandi, Supandi, Supandi. Supandi, Supandi. Okay, so now let's. So now let's uh, continue the story. Then you know what he did to stamp the letter. You'll see that when the when the postman takes the letter. The postman who was taking the letter. He checked all the letters. Only one letter was confusing. And he saw that letter and shouted, and put only that letter down and ran. The teacher, all the letters were actually written to the teacher. The teacher only didn't get Supandi's letter. He told Supandi, why didn't I get your letter? I don't know, sir, Supandi said. They went again to the post office and while they were going on the road, they saw that some letter was fallen down. And when the teacher saw it, it was written. And he and the teacher was thinking before saying, why didn't the postman take the letter? And it was written. And a stamped footprint was there on that. And it was written, stamped by Supandi. And the teacher was very ferocious and said, Arg! And he threw the letter the same way. And Supandi said, like the postman did, and ran away from the school itself, discharged from the school. And same thing, even in small, he was comedy. Actually, when you small, even I'll tell you that story. Supandi was small, and uh, he was, um, and he had a cold. His mother said, oh, your nose is running. Wait, I'll buy tablets and come. While she was back, Supandi called, Mummy, see this. There was a lot of stick on his nose. Her mother asked, What is this? Why do you do this? Now my nose won't run. Is it fine, Mummy? Ah! His mummy said, and, and took the tape out. So, I was, okay, so time up. I have a class now. I'll meet you afterwards. Bye.